It is very interesting when we see the latest technologies implemented in consumer electronics, be it laptops, computer hardware, smartphones, wearables or anything else. But usually the latest comes with a price, a high price, which is normal. Behind these technologies there are many hours of manpower and financial investment. But today we will not talk about the latest technologies, but about more mainstream products, those who are good but not perfect, and they are attractively priced, or to put it another way, mid-range. A mid-range laptop refers to a laptop that falls between entry-level or budget laptops and high-end or premium laptops in terms of specifications, performance and price. It typically offers a balance between affordability and decent performance, making it suitable for most everyday computing tasks. One of the best players in this category is Lenovo IdeaPad 5. In Lenovo's portfolio, IdeaPads are divided into a few different series within the line. The cheapest one is IdeaPad 1, low-spec laptops for browsing the net and running simple software. At the other end of the spectrum is IdeaPad 9, premium ultra-slim laptops. The higher the number, the more premium the model. The hero in today's video is IdeaPad 5. This generation debuted with Intel 11th Gen CPUs, but in September 2022, Lenovo refreshed the internals with the newer Intel 12th Gen CPUs and AMD Ryzen 5000U refresh processors. The laptop in this video is with an AMD Zen 3 CPU and the exact series name 15ABA7. The Lenovo IdeaPad 5's design is simple and doesn't stick out like other Lenovo series like ThinkPad. The build quality is good, the chassis feels sturdy, and there aren't any obvious gaps or issues with the construction. The corners of the base are chamfered and have a gentle shine. Lenovo claims that the model passed Mills TD810H military test. The tests required to determine if a product meets military standards include how the device holds up in high and low temperatures, rain, wind, humidity, fungus, rust, sand and dust, explosive atmospheres, shock, gunfire vibration and more. Basically any environmental factor or condition it could potentially face when used by the US military. However, it's important to note that this doesn't mean the product is indestructible. It's also worth noting that in order to use the MIL STD 810H label on consumer devices, companies don't technically need to be verified by any one agency. The top of the IdeaPad is aluminium with anodized finish and ABS plastic bottom panel. Some models have an aluminium bottom too. The weight of the laptop with plastic bottom is 1.77 kilograms or 3.90 pounds and a little bit more at 1.85 kilograms or 4.08 pounds with the aluminium one. To be honest, I don't care of what material is the bottom. I prefer less weight to carry around. The side profile is 17.9 millimeter of the plastic one and 16.9 millimeter of the all metal. The power adapter is also compact and fits into most bags. Lenovo IdeaPad 5 has full-size keyboard with a backlight and a numpad for the Excel fans. The layout feels spacious and is easy to get used to. The keys are stable, have a good amount of travel, and provide relatively satisfying tactile feedback. They feel comfortable to type on and don't cause fatigue over time. Two levels of backlight is available. Compared to cheaper IdeaPad 1 and IdeaPad 3 laptops, the keyboard on the IdeaPad 5 is much better. The touchpad is okay. It's reasonably large and has decent tracking. Palm rejection works well most of the time, and there aren't any major issues with actions like dragging and dropping. The Lenovo IdeaPad 5 has decent speakers. They fire upwards as the speaker grills are above the keyboard, so they don't get muffled even if you place the laptop on a softer surface like a bed. Next to the grill is the power button, which sits flush with the base and sports an optional fingerprint reader. The unit in this video is without the fingerprint reader. One of the advantages of the IdeaPad 5 compared to similar models from other brands is the charging. On the left side of the laptop, there are two USB Type-C 3.2 Gen 1 ports, both of which can be used for charging. They support data transfer, power delivery 3.0, and DisplayPort 1.2. This means that if you happen to not have a charger around, you can charge with a smartphone charger and a Type-C cable. But let's keep in mind that the charger and the cable must support power delivery. IdeaPad 5 comes with a 65 watt or 100 watt charger in the box. The other ports of the laptop are HDMI 1, 4B, 3.5 mm headphone, microphone combo jack, two USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type A, 
and a card reader for full-size SD cards. I'm thankful it's not for the smaller micro SD cards. I'm not grateful though that the USB Type-A ports are on the right side. If I want to use a wired mouse, it's not very convenient. Ethernet, Thunderbolt or Kensington lock are not present. The display of the IdeaPad 5 is 15.6 inch with full HD resolution. There are few variants, with a TN or with an IPS panel. The unit today is IPS with anti-glare surface and 300 nits max brightness. Thanks to the fairly good brightness of the panel as well as the matte display, the Lenovo IdeaPad 5 is also a good companion for outdoor use. And thanks to the IPS panel, the screen content can be viewed easily, even from very oblique viewing angles. But the display's color space coverage is very poor with 45% NTSC. NTSC is one of several gamuts used to measure color accuracy. Each gamut has a slight variance on the primary colors red, green and blue to suit different circumstances. The display's out-of-the-box accuracy is subpar. Most colors are inaccurate due to the panel's narrow color gamut, but the white balance is good overall. The bezels around the screen are relatively small but not ultra slim. At the top, a 720p or 1080p webcam with privacy shield is located. In this case, it is the full HD one. The specs of the laptop today are AMD Resin 55625U chip without external GPU, 16GB of RAM and 512GB SSD. The CPU is 6-core 12-thread based on AMD Zen 3 microarchitecture. It is part of the Barcelo refresh from 2022 and offers 100MHz higher boost clock for the CPU cores compared to the older Ryzen 5 5600U. The cores are clocked at 2.3 GHz guaranteed base clock to 4.3 GHz turbo. The chip is manufactured on the modern 7 nanometer TSMC process. The GPU is integrated Radeon RX Vega 7 with 7 CUs at up to 1800 MHz. Up to 2 GB of RAM are allocated to the GPU by default and it supports DirectX 12. The RAM is 16 GB with two sticks of 8 GB working in dual channel. Unfortunately, the RAM is soldered on the motherboard and it's not possible to upgrade. The SSD in this unit is 512 GB NVM from Kioxia and can be upgraded in the future. The network M2 card supports Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.1. The manufacturer in this case is MediaTek. IdeaPad 5 comes with 57 watt hour battery or 76 watt hour battery. This laptop is with the bigger one and Lenovo claims 13.4 hour battery life with Mobile Mark 2018 test with 200 nits brightness or 16.7 hours 1080p local video playback at 150 nits. Both batteries support rapid charge boost, which can get 2 hours of runtime with a 15 minute charge. The Lenovo IdeaPad 5 has good thermal and noise handling. The keyboard deck is cool when idle, and although it gets warm under load, it isn't uncomfortable as the hottest spot is towards the top of the keyboard, away from where most people rest their hands. The fan is noticeable under load, but it isn't whiny or annoying. When I am using the laptop for daily tasks, it is very quiet and cool. When I run a benchmark or something for video editing, the fans come on. I tested the laptop with few popular benchmarks. I also compared it to the older AMD 5500U in a Dell Inspiron body, as well as two desktop CPUs. The first benchmark is Geekbench 6, which measures processors single-core and multi-core power. Cinebench is another popular tool that measures single and multi-core performance. It can be used as a test 3D modeling, animation, motion graphic and rendering performance. Blender tests show for what time a scene is rendered. Lower results are better. Two scenes are used during this benchmark, a car scene and a more complex classroom scene. Web browsing is one of the main tasks for the CPU. Several tests can benchmark a web browser performance. Jetstream 2, Speedometer 2 and WebXPRT. I didn't test games because the purpose of this laptop is not for gaming, but I tried encoding with modern and popular codecs. Using Handbrake, I encoded a 1 minute GoPro 4K file for 8 minutes in H.265 and for 13.5 for AV1. I don't have results to compare from AMD 5500U CPU, but I have from the desktop ones. In conclusion, Lenovo IdeaPad 5 is a very stable laptop. 
If you don't need a gaming GPU and prefer something with a good build quality, stylish outfit and reasonable price. A good all-rounder with snappy modern CPU and Type-C charging. But let's not forget that the screen is not perfect, but there is hardly anything better in this price range.